Okay. Okay, so the last time we reached the uh, B3, which is the basically the randomly generated dungeon level. Rest of the party, I believe. Should probably double check. I probably should have double checked before I went in. Uh, also, last time, Jurgen changed classes to Samurai. Different for magic. Okay, everyone's got their full array of spells. I need to go pick up, uh, the, while I'm in there, a spare healing rod. Um, probably going to be a... Yep, transfer potion. I need that. Turned in a couple quests, and we still need to see if we can get paralyzed because there's a side quest that we need to be paralyzed in order to do. I don't think we can do that to ourselves on accident. claw that's gotten particularly long. We'll have to see about getting you your claws clipped. After the stream. Armor and a flail. Huh. Probably nothing particularly useful. We can sell it later. There isn't a uh, healing staff available this time. Now oh, the healing potion is still useful by.
I keep expecting a reaper to show up around there. I mean, I should. If it like, if I don't expect one to show up, then one will, and that'll be a bad scene. Let's see. Help me! A bloodied warrior came crawling. More of undead. They've even come up here. Retreat is out of the question. Yeah, you're crazy. How do you go up against such a swarm? You're arguing voices from such a distance. Is it that party? You have information that that person is in the labyrinth. If you want to retreat, who gives a, a shit? We shouldn't have to die here. If you want to die so badly, why don't you go it alone? Just go alone. And what the heck is wrong? Your head screwed up. Why don't you pay me? If I die, it's over. A valiant girl with shortly trimmed forelocks was standing tall. She bit her lip in anger and held back tears. You are standing there just to mock me also? Or do you intend to lend me a hand? Okay, we'll lend a hand. Thank you very much. My name is Grace. May I ask for your name? Or Durgan, I'll go in first. Come in and give you the signal. I'll lure the enemy, then we'll attack from both sides. Grace Dan ran towards the room where the enemy was waiting. Grace's clear voice echoed throughout the labyrinth. Undead, return to where you belong, I say. God shall forgive you. The undead let out a cursed cry. Grace's response with the sound of her sword. You hear the sound of their sword sort of slashing between the slashing of their flesh along with her vital cries. Be careful, the undead have headed your way. And here comes the fight. Oh! You guys? Um, I, I think I can actually... If all of you have magic weapons now... Oh, Kyo does not have a magic weapon. I thought, um, Kyo and Kalo, um, I don't know they did some damage to the zombies. Okay, apparently not. Oh well. It's fine, got a bunch of XP, it's all good. Are you hurt? No. Reese's cheeks were still flushed, flushed from the battle. Her slender shoulders were slowly moving up and down. Reese stood up straight to hide that she was shaken. You must be an adventurer with some reputation, Durgan. The thought of the undead are so close to ground level. I heard the undead usually fear the town. Possible that God has abandoned Duhan? Reese frowned suddenly when she mentioned God. No, that's not possible. There's no way he could abandon us. The tone of her voice was such that she was trying to convince herself. I will not forget my indebtedness to you. Farewell. Possibly recruit another recruitable party member? Oop, didn't mean to turn away. That's okay. So, are there enough of you? So, what do you want damage now where I can kick you out with a rush? No, not quite. I'll take two.
I want to say the elevator is at the end of this aisle. Yep. Uh, did do you have more HP than I expected? Okay. to the labyrinth. The pungent stench of decay. The roar of demons echoed, their lust for battle uncontainable. At the other end of the passageway, a female warrior was fighting with a band of undead. And attempted to maim the warrior to drag out her flesh and tear part of flesh and drag out her innards. This is a bit excessive, but the warrior par swiftly parried the undead's attacks, winning them critically with her magic sword that, ca sword that cast a blue shine. And in the end, without having to lay a finger on the warrior, the undead returned to dust. female warrior came towards you, her battle over. There is an unusually large number of undead. Old Tale says that when five of the undead gather, a door to another world were opened, and if ten of them gather, a path will be formed. It seems that the rumor is true. The fourth floor of the labyrinth is a nest of undead. Are you alright, miss? I can't have you go off on your own like this. I'm looking all over for you. What well, I do not need is a brother whose approval I must ask anything for. Um, I'm looking for a samurai to deliver a, a scabbard to. Would you? Know who that is? As a gale blew through, you stopped in your tracks. The next moment you felt a wind pass by you intermittently. It was not the wind. So the ninja soldiers of Duhan, sprinting, flashing past you, gave me a regard to you and disappeared to the lower levels. Huh. B4. Okay. I did just right, right there. Found it. This is me being really happy. Oh, and then there's a combat right I mean, right away. Oh, that's a lot of undead. Oh, they're friendly? Good. I'll leave it. That was weird. Turn my speak my PC audio down so you can pick that up. Um everything appears to be okay.
Okay. Uh, Miss Kitty, get away from the, the entertainment center, please. You'd be on my lap. You just can't climb up there. Alright, can I... Pause you for a second, because I bring up the maps for before the ancient cemetery. Okay. So I need to figure out how to activate the elevator. Bunch of pit traps through here, so I gotta be careful for my route. Hey, a samurai healing himself. A samurai noticed you and began talking to you amicably. The third floor was quite a handful, but this floor is worse. There are pitfalls and creepy gravestones everywhere. He seemed to be a soldier Matsuri named uh, Matsuri that the so ah, you he seemed to be the samurai named Matsuri that the soldier told you about. You asked if it was him. Indeed, my name is Matsuri, but how do you know that? You told him about getting a sword from the Toon Hound soldier. Matsuri gave an exaggerated nod. The Matsuri soldiers are really uh, are, are really so courteous. All I did was help him out a little. I gave him the sword sheath. Hmm, the sword will be able to beat the undead. This is great. Every time I see the undead, it reminds me of her. It pushes me to go on. Mats Matsuri noticed you looking at him and scratched his cheeks slightly. My village was attacked by the undead in the past. So many were killed, even the women and children weren't spared. When Her Majesty heard about it, she said to send some help to us. We got the news, everyone rejoiced. We thought we were saved. All that came was just this one elf girl. We didn't believe that a girl like her could fight monsters at all, so we got worried. But she was Sophia, the priest known as the Sacred Healer. Her Majesty had sent us a Queen's Guard, one of her own personal servants. Her skill was amazing. She knelt, and by the power of her prayer alone, destroyed an army of the undead. That's not all, she healed the injured villagers one by one. I fell for her then, for her beauty, and for her kindness, but... Because of the Flash, it is uncertain whether Sophia is dead or alive. Matsuri's face clouded over for a moment, but soon became cheerful. I think that she's still alive. Queen's Guard would never die before fulfilling her duty. I'm going to find her, and we're going to pay her back for all she did for us. Oops, sorry for rambling, didn't mean to keep you here. Well, thanks for delivery and for listening to me. Let me give you this in return. Three a fragment of a crystal that shined with a crimson glow. You got a crimson quartz! I have no clue what to do with it, but it might come in handy someday. Right, so he grinned and waved goodbye. Probably a quest item. See you around! Right, that quest is done, and now combat. Oh... Bastard. Please, not a back attack. Thank God, it's not a back attack. Okay. Right, gargoyles. Alright, so double slash. Them. You two do a restrict shot on. Only okay, only front for front rank characters. That's a bummer. Um. Okay, that actually worked pretty well. Okay. 
That was actually a pretty effective tactic for those guys. Okay, that worked out all right. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.